Hello, my name is Serene Manzar and I'm an Immigration and Nationality Law Specialist. Through these years, I've helped several people apply for humanitarian parole. The current conditions in Afghanistan and the recent overtake of the government by the Taliban leaves humanitarian parole as one of the very few options in immigration beliefs that is available to Afghan nationals. For those of you who have loved ones or relatives who are in Afghanistan currently and may be facing threats to their life, by the current government can definitely and I encourage you to seek the help of a competent legal representative who can advocate for you effectively and uh, put in a humanitarian parole application for your loved ones abroad. While humanitarian parole itself does not lead to permanent residency, it does allow for temporary entry into the United States for anyone who can establish, it's based on a case-by-case -case basis, who can establish that their entry is warranted for humanitarian reasons or for reasons that would be in uh, for significant public benefit. Since the condition and situation in Afghanistan is so fluid and quickly um, changing, um, I do encourage you to seek legal help so that your relatives or um, loved ones abroad could be effectively and competently represented. Like I said, humanitarian parole currently is a very limited option available to Afghan nationals who are wanting to flee Afghanistan. So please do look into it in a timely manner and keep up to date on the conditions um, that are changing. Humanitarian parole does not lead to permanent residency in itself. However, it does allow for temporary entry into the United States. While the parolee is not admitted into the United States, they are at least going to um, find a way to have their life secured while they arrive in the United States and are paroled into the United States only after the Customs and Border Patrol officer, the CBP officer, paroles them into the United States. After that point, they have a limited time period to stay within the United States and seek residency through other means. They could be through family-based adjustment or they could be filing for asylum.